Here we have our simple calibration sketch, including the stepper library and the pin setups for our stepper motor as shown in the wiring diagram. And then we have some functions in use from our run motor INO file as seen on the right. So we just add a breakpoint, go to the actions, and we want to add in our motor speed. But we want to be able to change it as well on the fly. So we'll add the equals question mark into the variable. And we'll do the same for steps to move. So we can actually change the, the travel length and the speed it moves at on the fly to calibrate our little dispenser. But we don't want to continue the execution. We want to stop there so we can change the variables. So now we just need to make sure we've got our board selected on the right COM board. And of course, ensure the, de the serial debugger is enabled. Now we just have to build and upload the code to our board. And we'll be able to simply calibrate this step by step. can see our serial output there of ready so we know it's definitely started and the serial debug has opened the expressions window for us as you can see here we've got our variables in for motor speed and steps to move now we're, we're stopped on that line if we continue it'll simply go around again I can just try the action as it is at the moment. Here we can actually see our little dispenser in action while we're, we're testing this. We've we'll changed the steps to, to 30 because it was running into the end stop. If we reduce the steps, you can see it doesn't move. As far as expected but 30 actually seems to be about right so we'll go back to that now we can change the speed so we might not want to move as quickly depending on how we're placing the sample now you can see it's a lot slower now depending on what you're dispensing obviously you may need to change the speed um, as it will affect how hard it pushes the item out. So we've said it's a one which is a bit too slow when there's nothing in there. So you can barely see it moving. And then it will all move together so the friction is obviously harder to overcome there. So a bit of calibration needed, but we've we've got our one mil with 30 steps, so we can now use those values in our code going forwards.